hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to install and configure cacti on your ubuntu linux machine also i will show you guys how to add any windows pc on your cacti monitoring server and monitor easily so let's get started so here is my ubuntu machine as you can see so at first i will open terminal so simply i will open terminal on my ubuntu machine and after that i will update uh, my Ubuntu machine so the command is sudo apt update and I have to put my password and press enter after update done I will install SSH uh, to access this Ubuntu machine from my Ubu Windows machine so what I have to do is I have to type uh, the command to install open SSH the command is sudo apt sudo space apt install space open SSH and then server and space minus y and after that press enter now as you can see the open ssh already installed on my system and next i have to type the command to check open ssh uh, status so the command is sudo system ctl then status ssh so as you can see the uh, ssh is active on my computer now the next command is called sudo system ctl enable ssh so this command is for enable ssh at boot so just simply press enter now you have to enable ssh uh, on your firewall for that it just you type sudo ufw allow ssh after done after everything done you just need to type reload the uh, firewall rules for that you just need to type sudo ufw reload once every, everything done you just need to type ip space a to check your ip address so as you can see my ip address is 192.168.0.103 uh, and my username is tabunto so i will connect this ubuntu machine from my uh, windows machine okay so here's my windows machine as you can see so first i will open cmd after open cmd i will type the command uh, to connect that ubuntu server is ssh space the username in my case it is tapan and ip address at the rate ip address which is in my case 182.168.0.103 now press enter you have to put your password and press enter now as you can see ubuntu server is successfully connected as you can see the ip address is showing and now what you have to do is you just need to go to my website uh, technology.in so i'll give you the link to my video description so from this uh, link you, you will get all the command okay so first you just need to update the system update your system the command is sudo apt updates and sudo apt upgrade minus y after that press enter put your password and it will update and upgrade your system once it will done you just need to install cacti sorry uh, required dependency packages you just need to copy the second command so just copy paste that command and as you can see it is installing so you have to wait for few minutes after done what you have to do you just need to install cacti for that you just need to uh, copy this command and paste it on your terminal and after that press enter after that it will take some time so you have to wait for a few minutes now here on this page you just need to press enter uh, you just need to select apache 2 and press enter now you have to select yes over here press enter now here you just need to put mysql application password so make sure that you have note down this password so while you will log in on your cacti you just need to put this password okay so press tab and press enter once again you have to put the same password and press enter after done you just need to uh, just find out your IP address which is in my case 192.168.0.103 simply copy that IP address go to your browser open your browser go to new tab and paste that IP address after that slash cacti and press enter now, as you can see it is showing user login uh, page so username by default is admin and password which, which you have set during installation after that click on login so 
So now I will show you guys how to add devices under Cacti. So I will first uh, add one Windows machine over here. So if you'll see on graphs, it is it is blank. It's not showing anything over here. So I want to add these uh, Windows machine to my Cacti monitoring server. So what I have to do first, I have to enable SNMP services. For that, I have to go to settings. Simply right click on your start menu and go to settings. Or else you can press Windows plus I button together. And after that, you just need to go to system from your left side over here. On your right side, you will see optional features. If you are unable to find optional features, you can search over here also. Okay. So simply click on optional features, click on view features. And after that, here you just need to type SNMP. Now check these two options and you need to, you will get over here installation option. After installation done, so you have to install uh, these two services. And after installation done, what you have to do, we just need to go to your start or search window and type services.msc. So after that, press enter. Now what you have to do, you just need to find the SNMP uh, service, this, uh, this service you need to find on under services. You just need to simply right click and go to properties and select here startup type automatic and click on apply. And then after that, click on start and click on OK. After that, again, you have to go to properties and now this time go to security and here you just need to click on add. Now select here read only and community name type public in small and after that click on add. After that, you just need to click on add over here and you just need to type the host name or IP. So I will type that Cacti server IP address over here which is 192.168.0.103 in my case and after that click on add then click on apply. Now you have to click on agent and here you can type anything like I will type over here any. You can type anything and check all the services over here and after that click on apply then ok. Once it will done restart the service. So after done you need to allow the SNMP in your windows firewall. For that what you have to do you just need to open CMD first. Right click on CMD and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Now we here. You just need to type the command. The command I'll put a uh, uh, mention on my video description. So the command is net sh adv firewall space firewall space add space rule then name equals to then under quotation snmp now quotation close and then protocol then protocol equals to in small protocol equals to qdp then you need to type dir equals to in then space local port equals to 161 after that space then action type equals to then you need to type allow okay after that press enter from your keyboard now as you can see this successfully added on my firewall so now if i type ip config here is my ip address which is 192.168.0.86 as you can see so after configure ssmp on your uh, windows machine you need to click on create then click on new device and here I will type the name of my Windows machine like Windows PC one. OK, and host name, I have to put my Windows machine IP address, which is in my case 86. OK, so you can put any location over here. OK, you can put any name. And here you need to select main folder and uh, device template. You have to select over here generic uh, SNMP uh, device. OK. Now version, you just need to select here version 2. Now over here, I will select pink and SNMP uptime. After that, I will click on create. Now click on OK. So it is created successfully. Now I'll click on management tab. If I'll click on devices, as you can see, my device is showing, but currently showing status is up. Now what I have to do, I just need to click on trees 
from the from this left side okay i have to click on this add tree button and tree name i will i will type over here windows uh windows pc monitoring okay over here manual ordering no string and click on create now click on ok as you can see available device is showing over here now what you have to do you just need to click on graphs and it will show all your uh, windows pc devices so here you just need to select all uh, uh, check all these windows option and after that on choose an action you have to select over here place on a tree windows pc monitoring as you can see over here showing now click on go and click on continue after that click on ok now go to devices and it is status is showing up if it is not uh, in your case if it is showing down or unknown you have to check over here and over here you just need to select enable and click on go okay also in trees uh, if you'll see uh, monitoring windows monitoring you have to select check this option and here you need to click on publish and click on go after that click on continue once it will done you need to go to graphs and as you can see windows pc monitoring is showing uh, under graphs and if i'll click over here as you can see uh, all the graph is showing so if in your case graph is not showing or if you are getting any error then simply what you have to do you just need to simply open your uh, ubuntu linux terminal so here it is in my case so after that you have you just need to copy paste this command to give the file permission to that cacti folder so just type one by one all this command just paste it on your terminal And after that, you just need to restart the con and Apache 2. Once it will done, it will show, uh, uh, you will see the graphs is working properly. Okay. Before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.